dear student in this video we are going to learn how to find cube root of any number by prime factorization method first let us know what is prime number prime numbers are numbers which have exactly two factors that is one and number itself here we have a number 5 Is five as prime number? Let us see the factors of number five. Here, yeah, the first factor of five is one, right? Because one times five is five, and the another factor of five is five itself. Okay, because five ones are five. So five has exactly two factors. That is one and five. That is one and number itself. Hence, five is a prime number. Here we have another number seven. Is seven is prime number? Let us see the factors of number seven. Here the first factor is one, right? Seven is divisible by one. So one is one of the factor of seven, and seven. Is the another factor of this number, so this number is has exactly two factors. That is one and seven. Hence, five and seven are the examples of prime numbers. Let's learn how to find cube root of a number by prime factorization method. Cube root of seventy four thousand eighty eight. To get the cube root of this number, we need to find out first. Prime factor of this number. Let's see how to find prime factor of this number. You can see the last digit of this number is eight, and eight is divisible by two. Therefore, this number will be divisible by two. So we will divide this number with a prime number two. When you will divide seventy four thousand eighty eight by two, you will get thirty seven thousand forty four. Now let's see the last digit of this number is four, and four is divisible by two. Therefore, this number will also be divisible by two. When you divide thirty-seven thousand forty-four by two, you will get eighteen thousand five hundred twenty-two. Now here the last digit of this number is two, and it is divisible by two. So this number is divisible by two. So we will divide this number by two. And when you will divide this number by two, you will get nine thousand two hundred and sixty-one. Now the last digit of this number is one, which is not divisible by two. Hence, this number is not divisible by two. So we will try with another prime number, and the next prime number is three. And this number is divisible by three, since sum of the digit of this number is divisible by three. So let's see what is the sum of this digit of the number. Nine plus two is eleven. Eleven plus six is seventeen, and seventeen plus one is eighteen. And eighteen is divisible by three. So this number is divisible by three. So when you divide nine thousand two hundred and sixty-one by three, you will get three thousand eighty-seven. Three thousand eighty-seven is divisible by three. Since the sum of the digit is three plus zero is three, three plus eight is eleven, and eleven plus seven is eighteen, and eighteen is divisible by three. So this number is divisible by three. When we we'll divide this number by three, you will get one thousand twenty-nine, and one thousand twenty-nine is divisible by prime number three. So we will divide this number by prime number three. So we will get three hundred and forty-three. Now three hundred and forty-three. Is not divisible by three, as the sum of this digit is three plus four is seven, and seven plus three is ten, and ten doesn't come in table of three. So this number is not divisible by prime number three. So we will try with the next prime number, and next prime number is five, and this number is not divisible by five since the last digit is three, and which is not divisible by five. Okay, so we will divide by next prime number seven. And when you divide this number by seven, you will get forty-nine. 
Now divide 49 with the prime number 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Now we will divide 7 by 7. We will get 1. So after finding the prime factor of this number, let's see how to get the square root of this number. We can write this as square root of 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 7 into 7 into 7. After finding the prime factor of this number, we need to make a pair of same three numbers. Okay, you can see it's a first pair of 2. This is the next pair of number 3. And this is the next pair of number 7. Now we need to take one number from each pair. Okay, this is your first group. First pair of two, we will take two from it. Same way, here we have the next group. And from this group, we will take one number. That is three. And here we have the last group. And we will take one number from it. That is seven. Now we need to find the product of this all numbers. So 2 into 3 into 7. If we we'll multiply those numbers, 2 into 3 into 7, you will get 42. Hence, the cube root of 74,088 is 42.